get one of my mom's pads, I go to my room, I get marker, and I start drawing red on the pad. Oh, so aggressively, I start just drawing red on the pad. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan, and welcome back to another Jordan video. Welcome back to another episode of Starbies and Stories. If you guys don't know what it is, it's where I sit down and I review a new Starbucks drink every week and I tell a real true story. And I'm still getting your guys' submissions and they are super juicy, so keep sending them in. I do try to read all of them. There's just a lot to go through. And if I don't reveal yours, don't be sad because there's a lot. If you want to submit your stories, you can DM me on Instagram or you can put it down here are you can email me my email will be down in the description box I know you guys hate long intro so let's just jump into it with this week's Starbies so for today's drink we have chai tea with oat milk and brown sugar syrup if you guys ever had like um, the cookie butter from Trader Joe's it tastes exactly like that so it's so good. I love chai tea so much. It's delicious. Me and my mom both love chai tea. And you can tell that I like it because I have been drinking it before the video started. Started. Sorry guys, couldn't help myself. So this week is a period related story and I know you guys love the period related content and I get it because we're all going through it so we all want to hear each other's stories. But when I tell you this was a good one, is a good one. So this week's story is I faked having my period to fit in. So this story takes place in sixth grade middle school. So we all know that in middle school a lot of girls start getting their periods. It's kind of like the average time. A lot of us get it any different time but middle school is the average time. And when I was in sixth grade a lot of my friends have started to get their period but I wasn't getting mine and for some reason I thought I was the odd one out, I thought it was weird, whatever. And sometimes even my friends would be like, oh, do you have a pad? Oh, I forgot, you don't even have your period. My mom said that when I have my period, you become a woman, you're still a girl. And I was like, girl, I can't control it. What do you want me to do about it? And I just like, it just made me like feel kind of hurt because I was the odd one out of my group. All of my friends in my friend group had their period and I was the only one that didn't. So if my friends would talk about something about their period, I'd just sit there like, yo, what's going on? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I had no clue what any of it meant, what was happening. And my mom didn't really talk about periods that much, so I honestly had no clue how they really worked. All I knew is that there's blood involved. Blood and sometimes you put a cotton thing, cotton pad in your underwear. And that's all I knew about it really. So I was embarrassed, I was the odd one out, and I just felt like I didn't really fit in. And so fast forward one day in sixth grade, and all my friends were talking about their period in the bathroom, like, oh cramps this, oh my god do you have a tampon this? And I was kind of sitting there like, bruh, okay. I am sick and tired of not being a part of the group because I was always kind of like when they whenever they talked about it I was kind of like outcasted from the group and whenever I tried to talk about something else they would kind of just ignore me or just be like we're talking about this and like so I was just I got this amazing idea and I was like hold up what if I just say I had got my period because it's not like they're gonna check or whatever I can just say I got it and then I can finally be a part of the conversation. I don't know why I thought that was the greatest solution to this problem, but to me at that time, it was. It was a great solution. So you know what I did? I did it. I'm like, so I'm like, oh, I actually got my period like last week. So all my friends look and turn and they're like, wait, you did? Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you mention it? I don't know why they were so obsessed with periods. Like, girl, it's just blood bleeding from a hole. It's not that big of a deal. But I was like, yeah, I got my period, guys. Yeah, for sure. And they were all so ecstatic for some reason. And they just thought, like, oh my gosh. what? And they started asking me all these questions that I didn't have answers to. They were like, oh, what? what's your flow like? 
and I was like, my wrap flow? My wrap flow is kind of good. I'm just kidding. Is it heavy? Is it soft? Is it light? Is it heavy? And I was like, uh, it's heavy. I said heavy because I didn't know what it meant, so I just chose the similar bigger option. I had no idea clue, clue what flow meant. What it? I had no clue. So they're talking about me about flow, and I'm like, oh, I have a heavy flow. Yeah, yeah, it's heavy. And then they're all like, oh my god, really? Dang. Do you need some pads? Are you you're still on it, right? How long does it last for you? And I was like, uh. Yeah, I'm actually still on my period right now. And then they were like, oh my god, do you use pads or tampons? And I was sitting there like, girl, um, both. That's what I said. I said both. Yeah, both. I have a tampon and a pad, both in there. And they're like, yo, really? Oh my god, your flow must be so heavy if you need both of them. And I'm just agreeing, going along with it. Mind you, I have no clue at all what's going on. I am so confused, I have no idea what any of this means, and I'm just saying it just to say it. I'm literally talking out of my butt, and I was just lying, and after that day, I went home, and I just kind of got nervous, and I didn't really know what to do, so I started looking up things on Google about, like, periods and stuff, and I found some stuff, but I was just more, like, confused, like, what any of the terms went, meant or anything meant so I go to my mom and I'm like hey mom can we talk about periods like what is this and what is that my mom looks at me and was like oh, did you get your period so I pause for a second and I'm like do I say no do I say yes because I'm like what if my friends start talking about me having my period when they're at my house and my mom was like she doesn't have hers what if that happens so you know what I do I lie to my mom I say Oh yeah, I had I got my period. What? What? And she's like, oh my gosh, how long have you had it for? Why didn't you tell me? Blah blah blah. I should have prepared you. And I was like, um, one week. So my mom is asking asking me like, what did you do for the one week that you were bleeding? Like, what did you do? And I was like, oh, I just used pads. And my mom's like, where did you get the pads from? Did you get it from my bathroom? And I was like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just used pads, yeah. And she was like, she was just going on to me like, why didn't I tell you? Do I need anything? Did my stomach hurt? Blah blah blah. She's sorry that she didn't prepare me. And I didn't know what to do. And right after I said that, I regretted telling my mom that I got my period or even asking her about periods because I got myself into a very sticky situation. The next day goes by and I have to go to school in school the morning. And when I go to school, all my friends are like asking me about my period, like this, this, and that because I don't know why they were so obsessed about it. And I guess it was because I was the last one to get it in my friend group, even though I didn't get it. And they asked me, they're like, so like you've been on your period for a long time it's been like over a week why is your period so long and I didn't know what to say and I was like oh yeah because I have a heavy flow so there's like more blood so they're like well yeah but like you've been on your period for a long time are you sure you're okay and I'm like yeah guys I'm fine this length of period is totally normal I didn't know that, so I secretly go on my phone, how long does a period last? And one of my friends sees me asking that on Google, and they're like, why are you asking how long the period lasts, don't you know? And I say, oh yeah, I just want, I just like, because I'm making me nervous, I just want to make sure that I'm okay. So I was lying at school, I was lying at home, and... I had no idea how to get out of, out of this situation. I kind of thought, wait, let me just like say, let me get over this period. Maybe when this period stops, I can just move on to the next and I just never bring up my period again until I actually get it. But then I was like, do periods stop? And I don't know why I didn't just look it up on Google or ask my mom because she already thinks I have it. And I was like, wait, Periods don't stop. That's why my friends are always talking about it. So, a week goes by, and I'm still on my period. 
I'm still telling everybody that I'm on my period and they're kind of like, dude, it's been a long time. How are you on your period? And my mom is getting confused because she's like, there's no pads or anything in the in the trash can. Where? How are you still on my on your period? I think we should get this checked out. Like, are you sure it's your period? And I'm like, yes, it is. I can show you. I say I can show you. And you know what I do to that? I go to my room. I get one of my mom's pads. I go to my room. I get marker and I start drawing red on the pad so aggressively I start just drawing red on the pad and then I'm like mom look it's it, look look mom it's I'm bleeding girl that ain't blood and I freeze I say yes it is it's red she's like that's a marker why are you lying that you're still on your period and I'm like, no, no, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And I start freaking out and I burst into tears and I just get so nervous. I'm like, no, no, I'm not lying about my period. I have my period. And my mom's like, no, you don't. Why are you lying to me about your period? And then I just break down and I tell her everything that I didn't have any of my period and that I didn't never got my period ever and that I was just lying to her just because I wanted to have my period. I can't just like be like, hey guys, I don't actually don't have my period to my friends because it's been going on for way too long and they're gonna hate me. So I go back to school the next day and I'm like, uh, guys, my period, it's like really bad. Ah, I think it's stopping. Cause mind you, I don't know how a period works. I think that when it ends, it hurts the most. So I start faking that my period's ending. I'm like, ah, ah, my period. I think it's ending, guys. Oh my gosh, ah. And they're all looking at me like, is she okay? Like, what is going on? Is she okay? So one of my friends like, no, let's just go to the bathroom just in case something happens. So I'm like, okay. We go to, me and my friend goes to the bathroom. And I'm walking. Ah, my period's stopping! Guys! Ah! And she's like, you're not actually on your period, are you? You aren't on your period. And I'm sitting there like, no, it's, it's just, it stopped. It stopped. And she's like, that's not how it is when periods stop. You're lying. You lied about your period. And she calls me out and then she runs to go snitch on me to the rest of my friend group. And guys, no, I just wanted to fit in, whatever. They didn't care. They tell everybody else. They tell their friends and then their friends' friends and then their friends' 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 friends. And now a lot of people know that I'm the girl that faked her period just to fit in. It's so dumb. Anyways. Yeah, so then everybody knew, a lot of people knew, not everybody, that I had faked my period and I got teased for it for a long time and actually the friends that I had, they kind of like started distancing themselves from me and they were like, you're a liar, we can't really trust you on anything else. So let's just fast forward really far into 7th grade. I have new friends now and what, whatnot and then I actually get my period in 7th grade and I tell my mom and she's like, you're not lying this time, are you? And I'm like, no. And once I got my period for real, I regretted it so much. And, like, not regretted it, but I just hated it so much. And I was like, why do these girls talk about periods 24-7? It's literally like, the worst thing. I wish I could erase it from the world. So that was the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really thought it was a pretty funny story. A lot of funny stuff happened in it. I, I just want you guys to know that you guys don't have to fake being something that you aren't just to fit in with other people and if you just don't feel comfortable around other people then leave like you don't you shouldn't have to fake being yourself just to be friends with other people so yeah that's kind of like the moral of the story whoop, whoop, whoop. tell me your thoughts on the story i thought it was a really fun one and i hope you guys enjoyed this one so make sure you like comment share and subscribe do all that fun stuff all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys next time Bye. Love you. Woo.